Well, guys, we're back with Bump, so I'm working on the train to retrieve. And, and what I want to talk about today really is, Bump, um, I, you know, I would say the, 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 the fatal flaw with a lot of dog trainings is people's inability to see the bigger picture, where you're going with this. So, you know, you're, you're going to have a mental picture as far as what your training limits you to do. My limit that I would probably be able to take this dog to do would be doing some like minor directional retrieves. In order to do that, obviously I have to have this trained retreat. So part of what I'm saying to myself, heel, is I want to keep heel. I want to keep reiterating what I've got. I don't want, you know, what I'm not planning on doing is, uh, you know, texting Mark in a week and say I've got it doing blind retrieves. But, but that would be the greatest thing. I, I've got the ability, and I would say this for any journeyman dog trainer, to understand training far beyond my capability of being able to dog to train a dog to do it. I probably could with intense training and workshops. But, you know, I, I would not, you know, if you said, could you train a dog to do a 450-yard blind retrieve, I would say no. But I know someone that does. You know, and that's, you know, that's where you need to be as a dog trainer is, you know, wh wh where is the horizon of my limitations of training? And, you know, how far past that can I see? You know, I understand, you know, these sports and stuff. I understand the complexities of what it takes to get them to do it. Do it. Could I do it? No. A lot of workshops probably. Anyway, so what I'm thinking with this dog in order to be able to do my limit for training is to be able to have a good trained retrieve on the dog. So that's just what I'm working on. But, you know, so I want to heal. Heal. Yay. Yay. Sit. I want to keep reiterating. I don't want to always be pushing the edge of the envelope. So what I've got now is a dog that is fetch. I can get it to pick up something within a very sit close proximity. Heel, sit, yay, leave it. I've also got a dog that sucks back a little bit. So what I better start doing is pulling forward. And that's where push, that's where using the pager to pull him forward. And you'll see when he comes back into a sit, he sort of settles back into a sit. He doesn't go into a real crispy sit. Pitch. Yay, yay. Heel. Yay. Sit. Yay. Pitch. Heel. Sit. Yay. Leave it. All right, so I know I've got that. I know I've got a dog I can pick up within this close proximity. So I also want to work on re refining that to the point I can ask the dog to pick up something. And we've been talking about this, you know, that hasn't been thrown. But I would like to be able to get to the point where I can be very specific about where I'm pointing, you know, as far as what I wanted to do. Sit. Sit. Yay. Yay. Fetch. Heel. Heel. Good. Sit. Heel. So I'm remembering. Sit. Leave it. I'm remembering my little suck back and I fixed it. So that wasn't, I mean, I'm not going to, whatever that was distracted him. So that was not the best example. Let me try it one more time without all this stuff in my hand somewhere. Because this is what, this is what the Kelly character is. She probably does aspire to be a Phil Troll trainer, but I'm going to post a thing. And Mark is my friend on Facebook. So any of you guys that are trainers, definitely friend this guy. This guy's one of the greats of our generation. So, Bob, you as a trainer have got to be able to, you know, if nothing else, have friends who are capable of training well beyond your capacity. It's the only way you're going to grow. Bump. Good. All right, so let me see if I can get him to do it. Heel. Oh, you precious. Sit. Leave it. More updates, Sam. 